Now, Northwood University is located in Michigan, USA. We have Mr. Bharat Malhotra. Mr. Bharat Malhotra is working. Mr. Bharat Malhotra, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Is my voice audible? Yes, absolutely. Thank Hi, you very Mr. much. Hi, Mr. Richard. How are you? I'm all good. Let me just sure, uh, give sure, a sure. little brief about you. Mr. Bharat Malhotra is working with Northwest Executive Education based out of Singapore for the past one year, having a total of six years of experience in marketing, business development, and planning. He is working as a representative of Northwood University for the program focusing on the target market all over the world with primarily the main, three main programs, that is MSF, BA, MSF, and GMBA. He will also be taking a student topic questionnaire, which is how to prepare SOP and how to prepare resume. Uh, you know, Bharat, uh, thank you very much for attending this student university webinar. The stage is all set for you. Please take over. Thank you very much again. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Mr. Richard, for such a nice word. And it's really great, you know, connecting with you all. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is awake. Okay, no worries. Very much, very much. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so yeah, so as Mr. Richard has uh, briefed about, you know, my background. So my name is Bharat Malhotra. I've been representing Northwood University, uh, been working with them for the past one year. I've been handling into their admissions, uh, you know, registration, their marketing strategies for uh, um, for their target market of, uh, you know, Southeast Asian countries, Latin America, uh, African continent, Middle East, so almost all over the world that you can say. Okay, so primarily we would be fo we are focusing on three major project uh, programs that is. Uh, Global MBA, Master in Business and uh, Administration, um, Master of Science in Finance, and Master of Science in Business Analytics. Okay, so my first of all, you know, major, um, what you can say, the emphasis would be on the topic of, you know, the statement of purpose. Why is it so important now? Uh, right now, while documenting your application process is something that we would be discussing on. And I hope if you have any queries, any doubts, you are very welcome to address the same post, uh, post this particular presentation. So let me share my screen. Just allow me a moment. Okay, is my screen visible to all of you? Yes. Great. Okay, so uh, firstly, the statement of purpose. It is one of the most key element and it is one of the most uh, important element that you can say that portraits or reflect what exactly you are. Okay, your personality in front of the admission committee for getting enrollment in the university. Okay, it is a chance of impressing the committee by presenting what exactly your background is into, what exactly you have done, okay, and highlighting certain points that we would be discussing in this particular presentation. So why is it so important? See, needless to say, there are many aspects of good uh, candidates application that is go, you know, that goes through the uh, scrutinization. But why is it more important is the fact that, you know, see, your academic scorecard is something that is already mentioned. Okay. But what exactly you are as a person, I mean, your objective in nature, okay, your, uh, you know, your interest area is something that only your statement of purpose will reflect in front of the admission committee. So that is something that is very much important uh, while documenting your application in front of the university. Okay. We got a lot of queries like, you know, whether we should put our name on the statement of purpose. See, for me, the answer is no. I'm like, I do not want, uh, you know, like, you know, like my name is Bharat Morotra and I'm looking for, uh, forward to uh, pursue this program from this, this particular university. This is already mentioned in the application. This is already mentioned in the, you know, while uh, applying for the same. So it doesn't require that uh, kind of, a, you know, that you have to write your name. It is very much reflected in your application. However, there are various universities which follow a certain protocol, certain parameters. If they are asking, please do mention it. But if they are not, 
then don't mention it. Okay. What do colleges look for in an SOP? See, while drafting the SOP, you should keep certain points in your mind. Okay. Your SOP is kind of a two-way process. Okay. So it, it should be clear. It should be crisp. It should be, you know, up to what exactly that you should follow into. So first of all, you know, um, your writing capabilities will be taken into consideration. So it should be free from the grammatical errors. Okay. It should be the simple, you know, um, sentences that should be mentioned over there. However, you know, heavy words, too much of heavy words. Okay. Or too much of rich vocabulary makes the sentence more reductant and it fails to communicate what exactly the meaning that you want to try to uh, reflect in your application. Secondly is, you know, highlight your key areas, highlight your uniqueness, highlight your interest area. And why? Because it gives you an edge over the other candidate. It give you, gives you an edge, you know, uh, while understanding uh, with respect to the admission committee that, you know, this is the skills that he or she already possess. And this is something that is an advantage for, for the university to shortlist this particular candidate. So that is something that, you know, you should mention something which is out of the box. Okay. Um, thirdly is, you know, if you are having any previous experience, okay, you must have gone across with a lot of projects, whether it's in your high school, whether it's in your graduation, post-graduation, do mention the same that you have taken these kind of initiatives. If you are having, uh, you know, any kind of experience, that is something that you should mention over there. And it gives, it really gives you an edge over the other candidates, okay? How you would be able to contribute, uh, you know, in the university is something that, uh, if you mention your key interest area, if you mention, you know, these, these small things, then it, it gives an impact in front of the admission committee. Fourthly is, you know, I'm like, if you are applying to the university or to any particular university, just, you know, go through their uh, website, see their, you know, um, the faculties or the facilities that they provide. Okay, the opportunities that they have provided uh, provided earlier, because you know what happens is you know students tentatively or you know generally apply in a very bash manner. Okay, and it shows that you know the SAP shows that you know it is something which he has applied to n number of universities. It should not reflect that particular aspect. It should not reflect that meaning. Okay, so going through the website, university website is certainly important. And lastly, you know, what exactly your motivation or inspiration of joining this particular university or joining this particular program? Okay, please mention the same. And it should be clear, I should be free from overbearing and should not be, you know, uh, constitute any arrogant statements. Okay, so that is something that the colleges majorly attend or they look forward in an SOP. Now, the next question is, you know, how long should a statement of purpose be it? So, I mean, it should be one to two pages constituted of 800 to 1200 words in a, in a very, you know, decent, real and, um, you know, non-arrogant statements that you can say it should reflect in a very crisp manner or precise manner. So, yeah. Now, if I talk about the content, what exactly that it should be constituted in an SOP? Firstly, the introduction part. Now, students get confused what exactly that they need to write in the introduction, whether they should, uh, you know, mention their self-introduction part or whether they should about their uh, goals, whether they should about their interest area, what they need to address in the first part of the SOP. Okay. Now, there are certain, you know, multi, uh, approaches that you may adopt or you can think about it. Discuss your long-term goal and connect it with your idea of pursuing the course that you are applying to. Present your understanding of the chosen field and write how you want to contribute to that particular field. Explain your background in two to three lines, okay, and connect it with your future goal, okay. 
in the second and the third paragraph it should be mentioned about you know your academic background your professional experience that should comprehend it with respect to the uh, the program that you are applying to it your academic background what kind of initiatives that you have taken across uh, if you have having any kind of professional experience what kind of experience that you have uh, in which department were you working what are the uh, you know uh, the areas which you have undertaken in your organization so these are the things that you know if you would mention it would give an impact really it would really give an impact in front of the admission committee okay um the fourth point is you know why this program why this course okay why do you want to go with the uh, business analytics program why do you want to go with the finance program why do you want to go with the mba program it should not be like you know following the herd okay um then it would become difficult for you to get a kick start from that particular or from the university that you really wanted to uh, get into yourself okay um just you know mention about what kind of modules that you are interested in okay like uh, you always wanted to be into the marketing aspect okay you have done some kind of initiatives earlier mention those things it will these small small things will definitely gonna give you a major outbreak uh, in front of the committee okay um the next part is you know so sorry yeah so the next part is your career course okay now the career goals should be categorized into short term and long term goals okay short term your immediate goal would be where you exactly want to work okay um right after you know completing the program or completing this particular course you should be able to name certain companies if you are having or if you wanted to work uh, as an intern somewhere do mention your you know objective of working at, um, uh, during this particular tenure of the internship part mention those things if you wanted to work in india or outside india do mention those you know in a small brief way not in a very elaborate way then coming to the long term goal you know down the line uh in another 10 years or 12 years or 15 years where exactly you see yourself so that will gives you you know kind of a uh, an uh, an importance of your goals towards your personality in your overall uh you know um what you can say representation of yourself so that is equally important and one of the major aspect is you know why this university why do you want to go as i've already mentioned you know earlier um just go through the universities uh university website understand okay what exactly the faculties that they have it will hardly take 15 to 20 minute to go through the website and it is equally important if you mention the same in another two to three lines you know the importance of this particular university it will really be really you know be an impressive way of you know uh getting your application shortlist and lastly is you know how you should be able to close the sop of the paragraph in your while documenting the same okay see it should conclude that uh, whatever your desire or readiness that you wanted to join this particular course and this particular uh, university it should be simple clear and it should be crisp okay the last you know para should be more focus about you know um, about the challenges that you would be facing how and how you would be able to tackle it okay it shows it should show the zest you that you have of going ahead with the program and of going ahead with this cho uh, chosen course and university will definitely make a difference in the industry on the global perspective that is that is the key aspect so if you consider these certain small point very easy point definitely the chances of you being shortlisted will be pretty pretty, pretty much higher okay so yeah so any question that you have anyone anything that you want me to clarify or highlight thank you bhagat that was very very insightful uh, you mentioned how sop is very important because your uh, past academics or they can't change but you can write well in your sop and you can what are the things that one should ponder thank you very much